Hey everybody, Aaron from The Impatient Gardener. Look who's back, Roy Diblick is back and he brought plants with him this time. So this is what everything we've been working on through this series that Roy and I have been working together leads up to today. So Roy, tell me a little bit about, about what we have going on today. It's good to be back, Aaron. I'm glad I'm so happy today. to have you here, especially have, during your busy season. I have to say, we left, it was in the mid 80s <laughs> yesterday and mid to upper 80s today. I got here, I'm freezing. It's it's a it's a beautiful day here. And it's only like a little over an hour dry, like an hour and twenty yeah, minute drive. So, so that's the difference when we hang a, out at my a, house by Lake so Michigan. You can see here. How, what plants go through too. Yeah. Our plants are going through eighty five degree weather. Yeah. And here they're still considering is it gonna snow? <laughs> Let's hope not. <laughs> so anyway, we uh, have the plan with me, so we brought the gallon containers, brought all the, the individuals that will fit into the plan. We have the salvias here, the millennias, the deschampsia, some carex bromoides that we're gonna run into the wet area mm -hmm. as we get down a little lower. So you can see the individuals. Now the, the fun part is to put the individuals in their social community and then see how we do that and the fudging we do. We're gonna do a lot of field adjustments and that's like massaging things into place but still put the plants in a position to relate well to each other. That's the key. Great. So. All the fun stuff is happening today. I hope you guys will follow along with us here and on Roy's channel. We'll direct you where you have to go for everything. So keep watching as we as we move on here. So we've got some interesting plants involved in this, but I thought I'd just stop to talk to you about how we're using some of the same plants, but different varieties together to add a little bit of interest. So one of the things we've got is, um, Roy, we've got three kinds of salvia, right? Yeah. So um, this is two of them. This is crystal blue and this is wee -wee. We also have a little snow bit of snow hill, hill as well. Oh. And so by mixing and matching different varieties of the same plant, you're gonna add a little bit of interest there, right? And right. we're gonna bring yeah. in some different colors and some more mm -hmm. texture. And the same goes for allium. We've got two kinds of allium, which look basically the same. In, in the, right one, now, they look basically the same. One came from the other. The shorty came from Summer Beauty. Oh! Yeah, it was found within Summer Beauty. Did you find it or? Yeah, it just popped up. I just saw it. I didn't That's... do anything. I mean, I just saw it and yeah. started dividing it. Yeah. So this is Summer Beauty Allium, which you might know this one. It's a great one. Uh, really does a, does a great job. And this is called Shorty. Shorty just named it Shorty. So Roy named this one Shorty and this one just popped up. So we're going to plant these two together. We'll mingle them together. One, the one will be they bloom about the same time, but shorty actually is shorter. So it'll be high, tall, little like golf balls, blue golf balls. That's great. So those are just, that's just a little sneak preview of some of the plants that are going in here and how we're putting them together. So make sure that you guys head over to Roy's channel because we're going to be laying out this whole thing. And, and this is the part where your design really comes to life. So what we'll do is we'll head over to Roy's channel. We'll catch that. And then after you're done with that, you can come back to my channel. Um, we'll be flipping back and forth so that you can see different parts of this project in different places. But that's a little preview of some plants that are gonna be going on here. Mm -hmm. 